Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. In the last episode, we went to Venus. Um, we went to Venus and it's terrible. Um, it is the planet of disappointment because, oh my gosh. Alright, I don't know what to show you guys first. Uh, let's do journey map. So, let's go journey map and let's look at the waypoints for Venus. Uh, anytime now we'll get to Venus, and you guys can see just how, yeah, there we go. That is all the waypoints for Venus. Um, I went to so many dungeons, so we, we went to where the first two were supposed to be. Nothing there. Um, disappointment all around. And then we went to two more, we found two dungeons. Uh, and yeah, we, we went through two dungeons and it was terrible. Um, we got the moon, the Venus buggy thing. Um, and I went through, uh, let's see, there was one more dungeon that was not, uh, didn't have a boss room and I have a total of six Venus rovers, uh, to get the one tier four rocket. So yeah, that was terrible. It was it was just horrible. I wouldn't recommend it whatsoever. But we have the rocket now, um, or the the schematic rather. And let's go to Iota because that's where the quests are. Uh, tier four rocket. So we have to make it in order for this to be done. And yeah. Oh, we we actually got seven of the the rovers, I do believe. So let's go ahead and unlock the schematic for the tier four rocket. And in order to do that, we're going to need a bunch of um, plates. Uh, we need 37 tier 4 plates, which requires, of course, tier 3, tier 2, tier 1. And I'm currently making a bunch of tier 1. So we're not going to be giving to the rocket today. Um, now we could go uh, ahead and did I lose my... Huh. I lost my uh, tier 3 rocket. It's still on Venus. Do we have air? We're good on air. Let's let's go to Venus real quick. Um, not that big of a deal, but I'd like my stuff back, please. Uh, unless I put it like in here, which I didn't. So where did we land? We landed around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So our rocket and everything. Um, all the excess fuel. If we ever want to grab that, that's kind of whatever in my opinion. But yeah, um, nah, since we're here, I just want to show you just how much I explored. I went everywhere. Uh, I learned that it's really easy to actually spot the dungeons. In fact, is that one? Oh, I lost it. Where? No. Um, so yeah, I I just kind of flew all over the place. Um, but let's see. I believe there was a dungeon nearby where we were at one. Uh, I found a whole bunch of villages. And I learned just from looking at the map... Uh, there is some very distinct signs that you're close to a dungeon. Um, I'll show you that, but the waypoints are blocking most of them. Uh, there was a couple that I could show off, uh, I thought. So home. Thought there was a dungeon over there. There wasn't. Was it dungeon 3? That had, uh, yeah, that was poking out the side, and I found the actual entrance. It's right there. So right there, that is the uh, dungeon entrance um, in the center of the screen. Uh, and that that is how I was looking for it. You look for that color in that, like, square shape, and you'll probably find a dungeon. Uh, so let's get rid of the slime so I can get home. And yeah, so we have our rocket, and the launch pad is the more important thing. Now, I don't know if... 
is there a higher tier launch pad? There is. Um, so we need tier two launch pads, which requires titanium. Um, and it's a five by five square, so we need 25. So we need five recipes of that. That is not fun. Um, I did find a couple of fallen meteors and yeah, just a lot of stuff. So how much titanium do we have? We have a lot. So one, two, we need 15 blocks. I think one, two, three, four, and yeah, five by five, so 25. There we go. Uh, so we have everything we need for launching the next rocket. We will get there later. So that's tier four to eight, and that's good enough. Um, we can go ahead and start working on getting the carbon. Uh, taken care of. Now what's the best way to do this? Um, pulverize gets you almost four um, as does this and then we can smelt that. Yes. Okay. So let's just go ahead and we'll keep a little bit of it but not much. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Wrong thing. Um, so I was making a bunch of coal dust so that I could make plenty of steel. And let's grab a bunch of iron. We have so much iron and stuff, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just a matter of getting enough stuff. All right, so with that taken care of, we're gonna be processing steel, we're gonna be processing carbon, um, getting all the plates that we could ever want, uh, getting all of the, uh, oh, what's it called? Is this how it's done? New. I can never remember what the recipe for the plates are. It is switched. All right, um, the biggest problem is the meteoric iron, and uh, that's just a pain. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But we have plenty of carbon coming through. We have lapis is 10, 10, 10. We have a good number of that, so let's go ahead. Take all this stuff out. Um need to make more crop sticks that's fine I'll do that later but let's make sure uh, we don't have any more it's 9 10 10 that's unidentified I can fix that pretty uh oh okay there we go I was terrified for a second um, I don't know why I thought I had my armor off, but that was panic. Uh, all right, so what are we going to do today? Um, I've wasted 10 minutes already, but that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to just do some random questing while we're waiting for the rocket stuff, because as soon as we get the rocket stuff done, um, we will have access to Mercury. And Mercury is what we are after. Um, because once we go to Mercury, we can start working towards getting, uh, we can start working towards getting uh, Platinergistics. And that is what I want. So what's the next thing we're gonna want to do? Surgis Quartz Seeds, that might actually be useful. Um, that gives you Surgis Quartz Essence, and you can make pure Surgis Quartz with it. So, that is going to be desirable. Um, so, we'll go ahead and get that started. Uh, and... What is Iron Ore? I have a bunch of Iron Ore. Probably should process that, but whatever. Uh, anyways, we're going to take a look at the quest book and see what we can get into. Um, alpha quest line, we need... Let's see, to kill the wither, and then there's a bunch of uh, pretty easy quests here. You know what, let's go ahead and do these. So, kinetic generator. 
kinetic generator. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to make? Um, steel fence and lightning rod base. And lightning rod base. I feel like I misspelled. Yeah, I misspelled kinetic. Um, kinetic generator. Uh, steel fence. Lightning rod base. And we're going to need multiple of those, so I'll have to remember that. We only need one of those. And a thermoelectric generator. Thermoelectric generator. Uh, so that's all those. We can't make the extreme furnace until we have mercury. Uh, that's completed, and we need to kill the wither at some point, uh, which we'll worry about later because I don't want to make all of the monsters even worse. Uh, killing a lot of bosses to get the tier 4 rocket is not going to help that, but whatever. So let's take a look at the two generators first. Um, so we need copper wire, wires. Uh, let's, let's see what all we have for it. Um, not lightning rod base. So we need steel. We have steel. We need one of these, and we're probably going to need, that's electrum coils. All right, uh, don't see too many others. So, um, Constantan, we need this stuff, which is made from nickel and copper. So, nickel. Do we seriously not have any nickel? Uh, oh, it's it's ferrous. Never mind. Never mind. It just called something else. Uh, ferrous and copper. So we need to go ahead and grind up. Let's do sixteen of each. That'll be good enough. And. Just go ahead and put that stuff in there. Cool. So we're going to get plenty of basically everything. Um, we have two stacks of carbon. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of carbon there. And I still have plenty of the ore, so I did, well, I got some ore. Um, we have plenty of dash. We should probably process that as well. I want to keep one. Uh, and let's make sure that is a real block. Okay. I want to keep one, and the reason is uh, in case we need it later. So that is half a stack of constant. And we'll get all this ta stuff taken care of and make what we need. So we'll need the plates. That should be pretty easy to do. Let's see, steel, this guy, and then plates. So we need our hammer. And that should make us plates. I think we only needed five, but that's also whatever. So there's the thermoelectric generator. Um, Oh, our amulet of growth broke, I think. I don't know. Otherwise, we just got that from something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, we need the kinetic generator as well, which requires some more constant carbide uh, LV capacitor. So do we have any of this stuff? We have the LV capacitor. Uh, we have plenty of carbide. And... Oops, wrong one. Um, we need these electric motors. Which I don't have any. So we'll need four of these. One, two, three, four. Uh, we'll need 
two sets of those, but we need more hemp uh, rope cables. And then there's that. All right, so then we should be able to make two electric motors. One, two. And what's the last thing we need is just some constant. Okay. Oh, that's easy enough. So, let's go ahead and make the kinetic generator. There we go. Uh, and those two quests are done. So we'll need, for the lightning base, we'll need six, uh, 16 total steel fences. And so we need 12 more. And if we need 12... Uh, that's six recipes. That's a lot of these. So 36. One, two. Three. Uh, we'll need just a little bit more. Luckily, we have more steel over here. We have so much steel now. This is this is good. So go ahead and craft the rest of those. All right, and the nine lightning rod bases. So that doesn't seem like it's going to be fun. Uh, so lightning round bases, we're going to need nine of these. So we're going to need a lot of all this stuff. So high voltage wire cables. We're going to need nine of those. So two recipes, each of these. So one, two. There's two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we can make the high voltage. This is a crafting, yeah, crafting task. So high voltage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put those there. Now we need uh, more steel. Uh, let's go ahead and put those away. We need more steel, more steel, and more steel. Uh, these are immersive engineering things, so they're going to be pretty expensive. Because um, I believe Lightning Rod is relatively late game. So we need nine each around here. Alright, what else we need? We need steel fences. So nine of these, and HV capacitors, uh, do we have any of those yet? We have one. So we're going to need a few more, that's fine, so eight more of these. Uh, let's see, we're going to need eight blocks of lead. Oh, and I think this is going to require us to do eight blocks of lead is it's seven plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because we can't craft blocks of metal. So we're going to have to smelt it down. That's fine. Um... Put this here. To that and oh, let's see, hopper. Into there. Um, that's an extract, so that's fine. Insert extract without signal. Why not? doesn't really matter and just do that so that'll give us our blocks of lead now we also need redstone blocks which we have and everything else we should have so let's go ahead and get the uh, electrum wire coils we need a bunch of these so we're gonna need a bunch of electrum which is silver and gold 
we have plenty of gold, so that part is at least nice. Uh, all right, we have plenty of carbon ingots. Now, I don't know that these are used for much else. Blocks of carbon, we can make armor. What was that? Uh, floors, tools. Uh, they are used to make carbon wafers, which are we gonna need those? Yes, we are. Um, that is fine, actually. That's that's nice. We we can use all of these extra things to make sure we have plenty of carbon wafers for later. So um, we're gonna need. Uh, let's see one. All right. Let's see. There's. We're gonna need one. We're gonna need eighteen of these. So in order to do that, we're gonna need. Uh, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no, uh, and a half. We're gonna need more. I keep clicking the wrong thing. So there's eight. So we need more electrum and gold. So let's take a stack of gold and a stack of silver. Now silver is something we don't have that much of. We need probably more crop sticks. So what kind of planks do we have? Not too much there. Uh, we should have a bunch of planks in here, yeah. So let's make a just ton of sticks, not buttons. And we'll make a bunch of crop sticks. And that should last us for a while up here. Uh, so... Yeah, that should last for a while. Um, so how are we doing on the lead blocks? We have seven. Almost have the eighth. Uh, and we should be able to make everything else pretty easily, so... I do want to go ahead and best us to get processed in here. Nope. I think we have to actually pulverize. Oh, QED is probably the best for that. Uh, yeah, QED. So let's get a stack of coal. And we'll get this going. So... Uh, just a bunch of different processes. We, yeah, I've already done a lot. So um, let's go ahead and do the rest. Or at least another stack of it. Uh, and we can go ahead and process it while we're waiting for everything else to process. So there is carbon. There's a bunch of dash. Um, all right, cool. So we have the electrum. We should be able to make, let's see, we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Just make a stack plus one and see where that gets us. So we need... Uh, there's one, there's nine there, and so we just need two more recipes of this, and then this. So there is nine and nine. Now we just take our lead blocks. Why do I only have eight? I need to make nine, so we need a little bit more lead. <laughs> I messed up. Oh well. And we'll get this going, so that won't take too long to melt down. Uh, and then HV capacitor, it's going to steal treated wood, uh, is what we are missing. So we need more treated wood. 
So that is planks and creosote. And don't tell me we don't have any more creosote oil. Uh, that is honestly pretty likely. Um, treated wood. Yeah, we need creosote oil. And we'll get that from Coke oven. So we need to set up our Coke oven again if we want the creosote oil, unless there is some still back over here, but it doesn't look like there is. Um, oh, we might have a tank full. I think we do have a tank full of it. Creosote oil, yes. All right, cool, crisis averted. Um, we just need some bottles. And eight buckets will be enough. And I kind of forgot about that. So, a bunch of redstone. Crafting tables are not good if you don't look to see what's in them sometimes. All right, there we go. And should have the last lead block. Let's go ahead and learn. Refill, perfect. So there is, oops, 10. Oh, that's why I only did eight. Whoops, I forgot. Oh well, um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that should be another quest. So that should be all these quests. We're gonna take chance cubes and reward bags. Just take random ones, doesn't really matter. Uh, and put this stuff away. Not my wrench. And we have greater good basic. Aw. So the basic reward bag has muffling upgrades. That's for mechanism. Uh, good. Glowstone glass walls. And greater. A vacuum chest, which is useful. But not particularly so. So what's the next quest lines? Um, we have three more. So let's just get rid of all this and see how bad some of this stuff is to make. Let's see, Sterling Multi-Block. There is a lot of stuff here. Um, we're also gonna need Thermopile. Let's make the Thermopile. That is from Magnacraft. Um, requires alternators, LV connector, machine housing. This doesn't look too bad. All right, so first off, we need two alternators. One, two, three, four. Um, gonna need more of that stuff. So one, two, and one, two. Perfect, so machine housing. I believe we just need the copper coil thing. And then we should be able to get the machine housing. And is that everything? There we go, thermal pile. Uh, we'll take a reward. And that's all those quests on that side. So we have a good reward bag. Anything? Elevators, cool. That's gonna actually save me some time uh, because I like to use elevators. Uh, and I'm gonna dye them all the colors that we want them to be so that they blend in with the blocks a little bit better and all that kind of fun stuff. So. Um, how bad is this quest line? So let's just do it one at a time. So Sterling Generator Controller, Basic Generator, that is not too bad, actually. Um, so St Sterling Generator Control, we need, let's see, six of these, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we're gonna need one of these to make the basic housing and then we should be able to make uh, we need more brass brass is copper and zinc 
Zinc we have plenty of. Copper we have more than enough. So let's go ahead and grind these. Uh, can we actually just... Sag mill, can we... Nope, okay. Gotta sag mill them first. So we'll let that go. And then let's see what else we have. Multi-block chassis. Uh, recipe for that is more machine housings. So let's just make the rest of these. Um, we'll probably need more of them, but for now, let's take that out. Once we get a little bit of copper, we can start making brass. And we'll be good. So, uh, that should be enough to at least get us started. And this is... Oh, it's like that. Right. I knew that. Uh, so there's some brass. Uh, let's see. Our storage is full. With Mars rock and seeds and all sorts of stuff that we don't really need. Uh, cactus seeds don't go in there. Can we use cactus seeds for anything? Seed soup. Um, plant oil. And eh, we'll see about that later. So... Yeah, I really need to... Ooh, raw meat to require iron. I'll need that. Um, unfortunately, with all of the stuff that we're crafting, we just don't have space anymore. Uh, that stuff goes in there. Raw meteoric iron can go in here. I think there's even more in uh, over there. So uh, we should be good to make the, the next uh, thing, rocket. So there is the basic generator. And then we'll need some of those. Two more of these. And we should be able to craft the sterling generator. Perfect. So that is the first thing. Two multi-block chassis. So... Two of these guys. Um, which just means two machine housings. And are we out of carbide? No. Just out of brass. But hey, not anymore. So let's go ahead and make all of this stuff. Get that smelting. Um, so we need two of these things. Oh, but we get a whole bunch, so there's that. Um, we need multi-block heat IO. We'll need one of these, which requires a heat cable. Can we make that? Um, we need clay turned into bricks. And once that's done, we'll get the rest of the stuff taken care of. So yeah, just trying to make all this stuff work. Uh, we need the heat cable. What is this compressed salt block? Alright, there we go. There's heat cable, and then we just take one of these with that. Make the multi-block heat I.O. And then um, energy I.O. Low voltage. Which I think is this one, which is pretty easy. In fact, we should be able to just go ahead and craft it. There we go. And that is that quest. Cool. We have a good reward bag, and in it we have aerial faith plate and long fall boots. All right, let's drop all this stuff in here that we can. Uh, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. So um, we are at the point 
where we need to start working on um, finishing up Galacticraft so that we can get into uh, Applied Energistics. And once that is, once we are fully into Applied Energistics, things will be a lot easier. So there's some other stuff that we need to have. Um, wow, that requires a lot of stuff. And then this will actually uh, unlock a quest somewhere else. You know what? Let's see if we can't do that. Eh, we'll worry about it later. So uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did a lot of crafting, but I mean, that's what most of this quest book is. So next time, we are going to try to make the next tier of rocket and go to Mercury. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!